Hi guys, welcome back to this amazing channel. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So like I said in my last video that exploded within the first hour, uh, this is the same day that I posted that video. I put it up and within 40 minutes it had 60 views. Don't understand how because it was one of those videos that was like so random i was just talking utter shit but thanks for the support on that it was great but yeah this video is a little bit more let's talk about anxiety um like i said i was going to do a video about anxiety because i know a lot of people suffer with it myself included um my anxiety can be really really small to oh my god I don't want to leave the house. Um, I'm just getting comfortable. <laughs> there we go. I'm wearing my Escape the Night merch. Best merch ever. Um, yeah, so my anxiety can get to the point where I don't want to leave the house. And I did a video a couple of months ago um, that also got quite a lot of support on it that said bullying at any age is not okay. So that was at my last workplace where... I got bullied uh, quite badly by the management and it set my anxiety off massively um, and I could feel it like building up worse and worse to the point that on my days off I didn't want to do anything. I wanted to hide away, um, I wanted to stay in bed, I was like closing in on myself, sorry I'm stirring my coffee. All the sugar's gone to the bottom and it's really upsetting me. I have a cappuccino. Um, yeah, so people's anxiety can be, it can be different levels. Like mine can be like that. And then people will tell me all the time that, oh, TV behind me went dark. It changed my lighting. <laughs> Um, people will tell me all the time that I've got a really good singing voice. The only time you'll hear my good singing voice is when I'm in a room on my own and I know no one's listening. So no one will ever hear that singing voice um, because put me in front of karaoke and I'll hold back. I will not give you the full singing voice that I have to the extent that I can do drunk well it's basically the same thing because i'm pissing about more than anything so i'm not giving it my all but when i'm in a room on my own i can blast that music out the voice comes out um not many people know but i did actually apply for x factor a few years ago um and i got an audition offer thing because i sent like a clip and I chickened out and then I plucked up the courage to apply again and Phil will tell you they wanted a sob story they said my voice was good but they wanted a sob story so it's like I'm not going to give you a fake sob story or even if I've had a troubled past I'm not going to tell you that for the sake of an audition but yeah, people don't hear my true singing voice because as soon as someone looks at me or I know someone's in the room, my anxiety sets in. I can't even do it in front of a camera because I hate listening to my own voice back. Uh, vlogging out in public, I am trying. Um, if you watched my Meet the Kids, I was vlogging in Elgin. But I am trying, but it... Oh my god, it sets off my anxiety so bad vlogging in public. Because um, I feel like people are watching me, people are judging me. And I know it shouldn't bother me because fuck whoever they are, they're going to walk away in like two seconds and not remember who I am. But that is my next hurdle, is vlogging in public. So hopefully you'll see a lot more vlogs where I'm just out and about either with friends or on my own I'm going to try first because I do feel like that's my biggest hurdle is vlogging out in public on my own 
Um, because me and Phil have been talking about doing a floor as lava in Ikea. <laughs> and I really want to get over my anxiety because I want to do that. I want to do the floor as lava in Ikea. We'd probably get banned, but it'd be worth it. Could you imagine that being the reason you got banned from Ikea? Oh, why did you get banned? I was doing floor as lava and they just banned me. It's fine. But yeah, all you people out there that suffer with anxiety, just always remember that you're not alone. There's always going to be someone that you can talk to. I found that there's a lot of people I can talk to. Cat and dog are fighting. As they do. Molly! Molly! I'm being ghosted by the dog. Molly! Oh wait, she wants to come up now. Let me put my coffee down. Oh my days! <sighs> Say hi to the people, Molly. Say hi to the people. Or if you suffer, oh God, she stinks. If you suffer with anxiety, get yourself a dog. They are like the best thing ever. Or a cat. Get yourself an animal. Cause they're just like, they're just great. She's trying to like stand back up. <laughs> she never looks at herself. You know how you get those dogs that look at their own reflection and they bark at it. She doesn't look at her own reflection. Who's this? Molls. Who's this? She, she just can't. She, she can't look at her own reflection and I don't know why. She's one of those dogs that doesn't. Molly, who's that? Look. It's just not happening. She'll look anywhere but at herself. Molly, who's this? Nope. Nope. She's a strange animal. We lost track again. See, this is why I don't know why anyone watches my videos because it's meant to be one topic and it just... It's gone. It's just gone. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like someone should just take my channel privileges away. Just, just take it away. Never let me upload ever again. I'm stopping the light from going off. Yeah, just, um, just never let me upload. Uh, that's, that's what I would say. Anyway, yeah. Um, going back to what I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, I've got a few friends I know that suffer with anxiety, the same as myself. Um, and I say to them all the time, just reach out. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. It could be three o'clock in the morning. Just always reach out to someone. Never suffer in silence because if anything, that's the worst thing to do. And I've done it a couple of times myself where I've not spoke to anyone. I've not reached out and then... It's just snowballed and it's got worse. So all I would say is always reach out. It doesn't matter who to. If you don't feel like you're close to the person, reach out to them anyway. You don't have to be in a cross, cross. You don't have to be in a cross relationship. <laughs> this is me, by the way, just on the daily. I, I don't have to be filming a video. I just, I just can't do the English. I have a message. My phone's flipped that way, so I'm trying to, that's fine. It's group Snapchat. <laughs> I have a group Snapchat um, from all my peeps, all my peeps at work. And it's called Alcohol and Memes Anonymous. <laughs> it's best name for a group ever. Like, it's just what all of us are. It's what all of us need. But yeah, never suffer in silence with your anxiety because it can eat you up inside and it it can turn into depression. Um, I used to have a problem with social anxiety. I still do sometimes, big crowds. I'm okay at a concert, but I don't really like the Christmas markets. 
that's actually a good example. Um, I don't like the Arndale in Manchester Centre if it's super busy. Um, that just, that can set off my anxiety if there's too many people. So it comes in different shapes and forms for people. I will admit I've probably got a bit of everything. Um, I used to have travel anxiety before I met Phil. I made the first journey from Scotland down to Manchester by coach. I had travel anxiety, especially doing such a long distance on my own. That first trip was, oh my God, it was horrible. I nearly chickened out and came all the way back up. I got to Glasgow. Don't know if you guys heard that. I'm going to watch the video, I'm going to look at the timestamp and watch the video back and find out if you guys actually heard that because if you didn't I just pulled a really weird face for no reason. Someone walked past and they were speaking very very loudly but it made no sense. <laughs> I so hope you heard that, if not it was fail. Yeah, so on my first ever trip I got as far as Glasgow. And then I, oh. I actually nearly got on the coach all the way back up because the anxiety set in and I was like, oh my God, I'm on my own in Glasgow. I've now got to get a coach to Manchester. I've never been to Manchester. And it all started to like get too much. Um, I'm trying to think, I phoned my mum that's another video. Um, it was the fact that I just needed to speak to someone to be like, it's okay, you can keep going, you can get on that next coach, because I couldn't text Phil because he was at work. But ever since the amount of travelling I've done, the travel anxiety is gone, apart from going on a plane, because I've never been on a plane before, so the thought of going on a plane terrifies me. But that's partly because I'm claustrophobic and I don't like the thought of being trapped up in the air and I've watched too many films and tv shows where there's plane crashes that oh that's really horrible it's those um so it's like it's like these ones but it's the cappuccinos they're really nice if anyone wants to ever try those they're actually really nice, but the cappuccinos are grim. I'm a cop. Someone's just posted something through the door. Molly's grabbed it out of their hand. However, she will then drop it. She won't bring it to you, so she'll pull it out of the guy's hand. What's that? Twitter. Um, she'll pull it out of the postman's hand but then she'll just drop it on the floor. She won't actually then bring it to you, which is so inconvenient. You need to train her to pull it out of it. But that poor man must be putting it through the door and think that there's this massive, scary dog on the other side. And it's Molly that's like this big, that wouldn't hurt a fly. It's like whenever someone knocks at the door and Molly barks and then you open the door and you've got Molly in your hand and they're like, ha. Oh, bless you. I'm sorry, guys. This video has been like, I don't even know it was meant to just be anxiety, but like I said in the other video, I'm like Dory. I get sidetracked and I'm gone. But yeah, my whole point is, don't suffer in silence and don't suffer alone. My DMs, comments, everything is always open. Um, my channel name is the same for Twitter and Instagram. So send me a message. I'm always there. I'm always happy to talk because um, I'm battling. I'm battling my demons slowly but surely. Um, it takes time. Like I've suffered with anxiety for a few years now. It's never something that you just wake up and, oh, it's gone. Um, it can be something stupid like ringing work to tell them that you're sick. 
excuse me, that sets my anxiety off. Ringing in sick for work sets off my anxiety. So it can be like the smallest thing. But yeah, my, my messages are always open. Drop me a message if you're feeling alone or want to talk to someone. I'm here. I've been chatting for 15 minutes. So I'm going to end this video now. Um, not sure what I'll call it yet because I could call it the biggest shambles on YouTube. Maybe. But yeah. Like I said, I'm going to get back into the whole recording thing because I have missed it. And I'm still on holiday. I've had plenty of time to make videos. I'm going to do another VR video. Uh, I'm going to do another Google Feud because people love those and I love that game so much. Uh, what day is it today? Friday. I'm going to film more videos on Monday um, because Phil's off at the weekend. So's Martin, so it's a bit more difficult. I prefer filming videos when there's no one in the house, apart from the animals. Um, so I'll film more videos on Monday. This one will probably go up Tuesday, maybe? Yeah, this one will probably go up on Tuesday. And then I'll get myself into like a solid schedule. But thanks for chilling with me again, guys. It's been fun. Maybe not for you, because it's been 16 minutes of, yeah, but it's been fun. And if you haven't subbed, please do leave me some love, all the love, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!